Hi and welcome to Design Deco, Hari Babu. Uh, it's a pleasure to have you here. Uh, we have seen your work, and we hear that right now you are uh, displaying a work called Irreversible 2.0. Tell us a bit yeah. about that. Thank you so much, man. Thanks for like, giving me an opportunity to be part of this community, and it's my pleasure to share my journey with you guys. The Irreversible 2. I titled it as Irreversible 2. The artworks that are displayed here are completely made out of electronic waste material, which is like you know discarded by the people, yeah. or call it like you know obsolete materials. So they are not recycled. They get into if they are not recycled, they get into the landfills. So my idea or my philosophy is to recycle as much as electronic waste or organic waste and create artworks out of it. and i call them that you know they come to me to get mukti so i say it like you no know, obsoleteness obsoleteness is mukti so i call it mukti because mukti is a concept where this the rebirth is been stopped so when this electronic scrap took like you know their destined portion inside the frame their life the rebirth is stopped and they attain mukti in my artwork and The, and it, I call it irreversible because they these electronic waste never get into the process of recycling or like you know getting into like you no know, different other products after recycling. So yeah. it is once they come in my painting that they are irreversible by attaining it. Okay, that's a good idea. And uh, uh, you know, uh, I usually hear junk in and junk out kind of a situation. This is junk in and art out. Uh, yeah. how difficult it is to work with you know this smaller elements uh, there are multiple things that you need to take care of you need to find the right uh, portions right parts and all so how do you figure out what goes where and how do you hunt for that you no know, generally like you know when i decide to do art it doesn't happen like you know with a sketch or something like that so i have like you know people donated me like tape recorder cassettes old computers like you know cpus cell phone and stuff like that basically like you know, before throwing it away people call me and say ari babu these are, these kind of things are electronic things are available for me do you want to use them i said yeah very good like you know, please send it to me so i get calls from like you no know, kerala like you no know, delhi gurgaon like you no know, many places like you know, random people strange people like you no know, call me by knowing that you know, i'm doing such work so once i receive these materials i dismantle them i segregate them according to the forms like you no know, shapes in different boxes and i don't do any sketch or anything it's just a concept or the composition in my is in my head i start like you know, looking for the appropriate material to put them on the canvas or on the frame like you know on the plywood or like you know wooden frame so it it grow it like it it starts like you know some composition starts from the center something from left to right something from top to bottom so it, it starts with one point focal point then it grows from there and it is not pre conceived like no i want like this or that or no so i go look for the collected material stored material i pick them up i put them on the canvas and it it takes shapes like no gradually i would say like it evolves the process hmm. so that nothing is like you know okay i want like this type it evolves in the process and you know but i know what i want so i try to get that thing like you know through this kind of shapes and you know other raw materials sure you know hari babu i was just reading about you and i think you started your uh, career as an animation professional and from there you moved on to art how difficult uh, was you know this transition and also how difficult is uh, to be in a career which you are not that passionate about so if you could speak about both the aspects don't ask me man it was like really a tough decision the decision was easy to make like you know okay i'm not i'm not like you know the animation industry i'm not saying like no animation industry is bad or good but i w- i felt that you know the creativity was like you no know, suppressed in me i was not given enough freedom to like you no know, express my thing like you know someone comes and comments on my work like you know for example he said that you no know, this color is not good looking good why don't you do put some other color i say like you no know, i've done graduation four years about color theory and again graduate post graduation i did three years of color theory you give me a valid reason i will change it and i got the answer saying that you know i am paid for my job to give feedback so this kind of incident you know really 
insulted my what you call like you know past you no know, no like you know, i couldn't accept the such answers you know then i one find i decided look okay, this is not my if i quit this this, this is job and join anywhere else i should be facing the same problem so what i thought is like you no know, okay let me get back to my fine art like you no know, graduation skills then i started making this artworks and when i started it wasn't that easy it took 4 years to sell my first like you know i right. it took 4 years to like you know, generate income from that art and meanwhile in these 4 years i faced like you know, many questions from friends family members that really puts you in a difficult situation it makes you think that are you in a right path then like you know, then you doubt yourself but i i was very passionate like you know, what i do and i was very confident about my work yeah so i like you know i was very focused and it took me somewhere like you know till here you know i i just wanted to come in here uh, you know we we often uh, go on to the linkedins and the googles of the world uh, where we hear quotes like it's never too late to start again and all of those things but none of these quotes or none of these anecdotes ever mention the challenges that you have to face through and the yeah. grit and determination that you need uh, you have done that and when people uh, who are listening to this or watching this video or hearing this video Uh, want to start a second innings all together in their professional life what's your one advice to them so i would always tell like you know, there is no age to play your second innings or to like you know whatever you have not followed so far as like you know, as a passion whatever your dream so far it's not too late just follow it and believe in yourself i'm telling you i can write and give it to you follow your dream and stick to your dream there were there are not instances like you know in comes to you to divert your focus but stick to it and mm. if you and be honest to it like you no know, whatever you do believe in you be honest in what you're doing it's not that you no know, i'll try this for 6 months okay it's not happening i'll try something else i i don't believe in such kind of like you no know, attitude towards life you believe in yourself you know what you're doing and you know you're good at what you're doing follow it and there are difficult times like you know i would say like you know it's not that i only go through all this kind of thing i've seen many people like you know my friends also gone through like you know such difficulty because after being like you know passing out from nid i was getting the big salary like you know in 2006 i was getting paid more like you no know, big figures then i quit my job it took 4 years to get a revenue from the through art which is got like you know 20 less than what i used to get as a salary so i didn't get disheartened like you know, disheartened but it it proved me like you know okay i am in the right path like you know things would change slowly you need to have patience yep. patience and follow your heart and be honest with your work good uh, uh, you know one of your early projects and uh, we are privileged to say that that one of your early projects has been with the gotrich group uh when yeah. i think you worked somewhere in the amdabad the marketing office you did uh, something for them uh, if you could just briefly touch upon how did the work come about and uh, what was your reaction there so actually now one of my friend was contacted me like you know commissioned this work to me like so this was i don't remember the exact year i would say this was my second big project in those days so i was commissioned to make a uh, sculpture in their like you know, godrej garden city amdabad yeah so we made this basic like you know structure in uh, in mumbai then we transported to amdavad and we installed it there it was like a form of a flower like you know shape of a flower with the form of hands it's like mm. a unity that was the concept okay it was good experience and these people were very supportive on the side there okay. generally it is very difficult to get you know get support from people like you know when you work for like you know big sites yeah but godrej people were like you know really very supportive and it went everything went off smooth you know bab which brings me to the question that uh, when you look at the livability of a space you know uh, what role does an art play in that does art accentuate it does it bring in an emotion does it uh, bring uh, a certain level of sophistication what does it do so well, i don't know about others art but i could definitely say that my art communicates with all kind of people my art is not only for the art say it is not only for the designers it is not only for the architects it is with my experience I, even i am experiencing the same thing in the present show yeah the a, a villager a farmer comes 
and looks at my work this would never happen in a private gallery because private gallery they are hesitate to go inside because of this all this fancy glass doors and all this stuff but this jahangir gallery any it's a tourist destination anyone can walk in so there is like a you know, kid who is engaged with my work four or five years old kid there is a woman like you know who is engaged with my work because I, the kind of tools i use the kind of materials i use in my painting they could relate to them like you know themselves mm-hmm. for example the carpenter the person who was hanging the work he told me that no, sir your work is amazing and there was like you know bartender like you know during the inauguration chai wala tha chai wala bol raha sir aapka kaam acha hai because he could see the cups inside and there are like you know plastic spoons forks so people can like any kind of people can relate to my work so like when they see my work when they see like you know, for example i use like you no know, tape recorder cassettes so when the person see he travels back in time because this generation yeah. they don't know what is a cassette like you no know, audio cassette True. so like my generation i have used like walkman so yeah. i know that cassette so like similarly people when they see my work they identify the object they travel back in time and they could have that emotional connect to to my work like you no know, towards my work and they have that emotional connect towards themselves also like you no know, okay this we have used at the type tape recorder might be like you know gifted by his or her dad So those yeah. are like you know it's all like you know links network that the dream goes like you know like you know very far behind that. It the touches in the goes. nostalgia. Yeah. 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 So that's it. So uh, Hari Babu, you know, earlier days it would have been you know uh, difficult uh, to get to multiple people, get the projects that you uh, you know mentioned uh, in the initial days. But now when people come to you, whether it's an architect or a builder or interior designer or somebody who loves art. Uh, and who want to commission your work what what makes you pick them or drop them what's that one thing that they need to say to convince you to you know do it for them no i don't say no to anyone because like you know i would never say no to anyone because it's an, they are giving me an opportunity to recycle more you know hmm. so any client comes and ask me like you know initial days i had like problem i have like you know gone into all the galleries in mumbai they just take my cds and you know cvs and they say we'll get back to you but none of them like you know will never call and that's how the system works yeah. in art industry so now the people come to me they call me and they say hari babu we have this big property huge property coming up are you interested in making sculpture i said yes very much because like you know, that gives me an opportunity to, to recycle at least two to three tons in every project mm-hmm. so which is like you know helping me to contribute towards the environment Sure. so i don't have that okay initial days i was like you know not considered now i do, i don't have that grudge in me like you know it's simple like you know i everyone is giving me an opportunity to, to recycle hmm. so i like you know i take all the project uh, some clients come and say like you know can we use fresh material like you know why why not fresh material i say like you know, i try to convince them as much as possible like you know why not the same thing could be done with a recyclable material with the same impact it will give you hmm. then people get convinced also like you know then that's how it was like you know i've been doing projects with all the big big like you know brands in mumbai i don't want yeah. to name them but i work with all the big brands in mumbai yeah, aware of sir and you have also been part of several urban uh, redesigning project i heard uh, that you were working with a group which was working on pavai some years back uh, try to uh, do things yeah, that was a, that again that was a friend who was having this urban vision group and where like you know place making concept was their thing so i made mm-hmm. like you know this i did i did this project for uh, hiranandani in pavai so i recycled i went to the site i picked up stuff from their site then i used that those stuff and you know created like you know three or four sculptures in the common place like for the yeah. public hmm. that's how like you know i they got collaborated with me I, like that like i'm getting collaborated with many people hmm. so i got a call like you know recently saying that you know they want to make a guinness record like you know using a scrap metal they want to big a, build a big sculpture it's still in the process like you know it will happen very soon so i'm just giving you like you know informing you it's a scoop <laughs> it's going to be guinness record book like you know like, uh, guinness record in terms of like you know size of the sculpture created using waste material nice so nice so talk about like in the process let's see you know over the years you have worked on so many uh, you know, different types of work uh is this something that has you know etched on to your heart and you always feel this one is my best work till date you are very emotional about something 
I come across the same question like you know, many times. I would not pick up any because as an artist, like you know, for example, if I do a painting, there will be like at least thousand individual pieces stuck to it on the canvas. These are not put randomly. Like you know, okay, Aya, Atma, Aya, Isa, Dala, Isa, Nahi. Every piece I take in my hand is communicated. I talk to them. I place them on the canvas. Okay, it's not happening. I place them on a different place. So it takes like it, it takes time, and I communicate with them, and it takes its its position. I would say like no, it is destined to go there only. Like you know, it's not like anywhere else. So I, that's why like you no, know, every work of mine is like you know communicated with, with each and every piece. So I would not say that no, okay, this is done like you no, know, okay, for the sake of doing. This is my best piece. I would never say that no, this is my best piece. Even now also, if I see my old work, I still have that communication. Okay, this I have communicated with this piece to go there. So the communication that is still there, like you know. So I would say all my works are my like you know close to my heart. It's all my babies. <laughs> okay, and my final question to you will be, um, you know, if there is one thing that as an advice you want to give to students who want to follow your steps, who are in the uh, you know who want to be artists, and if you can persuade them to you know follow your path and use much more sustainable means uh, to create. I would art. suggest. Like you know, just follow your dreams, and you know, for the younger generation, I would say like you know, for example, the electronic gadgets are getting updated every three months, and these younger generations are like you know, even if the gadgets are working fine, they still like you know, go for a new model. Like those things can can be like you know, avoided. You think for a while, like you know, what, does it really need? Because the the once you discard the working gadget and you buy a new one. that is going like you know it's going to be a recycled one or like you know it's going to be somewhere like in the discarded it's a, or anyways it's discarded so those things are going to affect the environment so like you no know, think twice before you get into a new gadget or like you know, buying a new gadget and for young artists i would say like you know, believe in yourself those most of the like you know, even my friends at my like you know i have attended like you know, some workshops and all they get disheartened very easily like you know okay they try for some months like you no know, 6 months or 8 months or one year nothing they don't see any progress like you know they then give up easily and i i would say that you know that is that is bound to happen you don't see success overnight maybe some are lucky to do get to success overnight but when you work hard be honest with your work have patience your dream will come true and i'm do i'm telling this with my experience they might be having like you know some distraction might come in different forms but never give up if and i would i would also say that if you believe in yourself if you know that you are good at what you are doing just follow your dream never ever give up this would i would say that it's my experience that's about it uh, lovely speaking with you once again and uh, we thank already you. yeah yeah please go ahead. thank you so much it's my pleasure like you know sharing my journey from where, where i started and you know where i ending up now and journey and the, like you know, there's so much to do absolutely. like and we are very sure that uh, you'll do many more great things ahead and uh, we hear a lot of good things about your uh, you know uh, show today uh, hope people love it even more and they come to the gallery to see your work in person pretty soon thank you man thank you so much my pleasure see you lovely speaking to you sir thank you bye bye